Earlier today, Soyuz MS-28 lifted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, carrying three crew to the International Space Station, including NASA astronaut Christopher Williams. The Soyuz spacecraft has already reached orbit and docked with the International Space Station, but there are concerns about damage to the launch pad. Minutes after reaching orbit, a drone video showed what appeared to be a large amount of mechanical debris in the flame pit next to the launch pad. Anatoly Zak of Russian Space Web identified this as the service cabin which sits underneath the launch structure. This is needed because on the Soyuz, when it is erected into launch position, its engines extend down past the bottom of the pad. So the service cabin enables technicians to get underneath the rocket and access it, but for the launch it has to be moved out of the way, so it sits on a series of rails. It rolls into a specially designed alcove and then is protected from the blast of the engines by a large heat shield. So based on the images, this entire structure must have rolled along these rails and off the end into the flame pit. And this could be a bigger problem than it first appears because this is the only Soyuz launch pad that can be used for Soyuz and progress to the International Space Station. That means this pad needs to be repaired before Russia can send crew or supplies to the ISS. Furthermore, the Progress is the only spacecraft capable of delivering fuel to the Zvezda service module, which has the majority of the attitude control thrusters used on the ISS. Fortunately, the US recently demonstrated backup attitude control using the Dragon and the Cygnus spacecraft. So the ISS will likely be able to continue operations even if it requires some changes to the schedule. Meanwhile, Russia will be trying to figure out how to fix this launch pad. It may have to build an entirely new service cabin or it may be able to move one from another one of its Soyuz launch sites. But that may take more time than Russia has. Alternatively, it may be faster to modify one of the other Soyuz launch sites for the ISS capabilities.